Eco driving is the ability to efficiently traverse a distance while controlling emotions and the car, as well as consciously obeying traffic regulations. We'll prove that eco driving significantly reduces the cost of vehicle checkups and extends the durability of car components. We'll also show that it's a style of driving that makes it possible to drive safely without unnecessary emotions. On top of all of that, the driver is less tired. We are approaching the terrain where we will be driving a bit downhill. At the moment, I am turning off the cruise control and I am using the weight of the vehicle kinetic energy. Well accelerated loads helps move the whole vehicle ahead. Without stepping on the gas, I am able to drive quite a long distance. I am approaching the traffic lights with the red light on. I turn off the cruise control much earlier and I'm slowing down. I will try to get to the traffic lights without stopping the vehicle. Therefore, I am deaccelerating using the retarder. This is a hydraulic torque converter. In contrast to brake pads, discs and the whole braking system, it doesn't wear out while braking. As you can see, the prediction of the road situation allows you to avoid unnecessary stopping. We have waited for the lights to change. Let's try not to drive too close to the vehicle in front of us because it causes driving with unsteady speed. We often have to slow down or speed up because we do not know what the driver in front of us is going to do. As a result, we drive in a more anxious way using also more fuel. Keeping a greater distance from the vehicle in front of us, we can drive at our own speed. The driver ahead of us does not decide anymore about our driving pace. When driving in a motorcade, we often think that following another vehicle will cause us getting into the air tunnel and lower the costs. Nothing could be further from the truth. This is possible only in research conditions, without any additional factors influencing the driving style. However, it is impossible in road conditions because there are too many things happening and we can't plan driving perfectly steadily. Consequently, each subsequent vehicle which moves in the lane moves less smoothly. It is because only the first driver can see the situation on the road and he is the only one driving in his own manner. The rest of the vehicles in the lane have to adapt to the driving style of the driver at the front.